Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Setchere. If this is the first time you're watching my video, why not subscribe, like and share. So I normally do nursing videos because I'm a nurse and I practice in the UK. So I give information that will help you, especially those of you who are planning to relocate and come and work in the UK, or those of you who are already here and you know, give you more information as to how to settle in and all that. So today I have two guests on my channel. One is Dele and the other person is Abimbola. They are both directors of Progress College here in the UK. Abimbola, as well as being a director, she is a tutor as well. So most of you are aware that um, the UK government is encouraging recruitment of carers from overseas and some of you are struggling to get courses, health and social care courses to do to help you on your journey. So they offer courses in health and social care. Apart from that, they also offer courses in child care as well that is something i would encourage some of you even if you're a student and you want to do child minding and all that you have to be careful because of um what do we call it issues around safeguarding but they will teach you all those things but you can do that as part time and those of you who have children and you're not able to get a job you can actually study to become a child minder and if you want to open your own child minding business in the future they would support you so without spoiling the whole video i will end it here just join us in the video and watch and listen to Dele and abimbola and as i said i will leave the uh, uh, contact numbers or email so you can make enquiries with them if you're interested in training to become or to have a health and social care qualification or you want to train in child care in the UK so watch the video to the end and remember to like subscribe and share as well take care let's meet in the video to my channel my name is Becky Setra so today I've got a very exciting um, topic going and I have got uh, two guests on my channel I'm going to be asking them to introduce themselves and they're both directors of Progress College here in the UK so um, can you please introduce yourselves uh, my name is um, Dele Joshua um, I'm a director. I'm also a trainer at Progress College. Great. And I'm Abimbola Joshua. Yeah. I'm a director as well in Progress College. I'm a, a lecturer. Lovely. Nice to meet you too. And thanks for coming on my channel today. So yeah. basically, yeah. I would like to ask both of you to tell us about Progress College. Okay, but basically, um, Progress College is um, a training organization, um, and um, we are based in the United Kingdom, yeah. um, South End on Sea, and in Dagenham. Okay. So we offer online courses and class-based courses in healthcare and childcare. Okay. Um, the main qualifications that we offer is cash and CFE. That's um, cash NCFE is um, similar to um, BTEC, and it's you know it's been around for over two hundred years, and it's popular worldwide. Okay. So basically, that's that's what we specialize in: healthcare, health and social care, and childcare courses, okay. both level one, level two, and level three. Okay, so if someone does any of the courses let's say in child care, what sort of job opportunities would they have? Okay, um, depending on the level the person has picking, if you've done a level two in child care, yeah. diploma in level two, 
you could become a nursery assistant. Okay. And if you've taken a diploma in level three course, you could become the room leader. And over time, you could have your own nursery, becoming a manager. And then also in childcare, we've got the level three child minding. These okay. ones run for 10 to 12 weeks. Okay. And on completion, you could register and start running your own child minding setting in your okay. own home. And the prospect here is, is a good one that you could make up to 40,000 per annum after completion. Okay. That's really exciting, isn't it? So really? there are a lot of um, employment opportunities if you complete the levels. Is it up to level three? Yes, it's up to level three. Level three. Moment. Okay. And it doesn't take six months or one year if you... 12 weeks to, or how long would, if I want to get to level three, how long would it take me from level one, level two, and level three? Basically, with NCFE Cash and in Progress College, we actually work with, um, it's learner-centered. Okay. So it depends on the courses run for, for the child minding. Mm -hmm. It takes 10 to 12 weeks, but if a learner, is proactive and you're able to finish before 12 weeks. We're happy to work at your own pace. Okay. And for the level two and level three, it's maximum of one year, but you can complete within seven months to one year. So it's still learners focused, learner centered. So okay. if a learner is also able to finish within eight months, you're able to complete your coursework. Mm -hmm. We will definitely mark it and you can have your certificate. Okay. So and yeah, carry on. So, so do they all, have, yeah, carry on, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. It's all learner centered. So the um, it's within, let's say from the child minding. So we're going to say 12 weeks to mm -hmm. one year. So based on your qualification, it depends. You could start level one, level two, level three, and we're looking at your functional skill, maths and English, or okay. your GCSE as well. Okay. If you've got all these, it gives you more entry requirements mm -hmm. to start maybe level two or level three. And if you don't have any, we start from the basis with you, which is a level one, and we put you on for adult learners, you start your functional skill, maths and English along with your courses. And if you if you have, um, if it's the younger one, so we put you on this as well. I'm talking between the ages 16 to 18, then you go ahead, you're doing your maths and English as well as learn, as part of your learning progress. Okay, that's great. So how, how much does it cost? <laughs> oh, it depends. Or oh, health yeah. and social care level one, it costs yeah. 300, um, obviously um, somebody, okay. yeah, it costs 399. Okay, um, that's not bad. Child for health and social care level one, but mm -hmm. the level two and the level three courses mm -hmm. is over a thousand pounds. Okay, um, yeah. that one is a a yeah, one year program. course, but the one year program is not is not full time. It's mm -hmm. one day a week, so okay. it can either be done online. Okay. For the um for the level two and level three in child minding, mm -hmm. you need a work placement. For the okay. level two, you're going to do 250 hours work placement. Okay. And for the level three, we're going to do 350 upwards. Okay. So for these ones, it's both skills and knowledge. So you're coming to class once a week and you have to do minimum of 16 hours a week work placement okay. for completion. Okay. And do you help them to get a work placement or do they have to search for their own work placement? Yes, please. We're happy to get them. We're happy for learners to get their work placement. If they want somewhere closer to where they live, okay. they could get um, a nursery and we will go there to do their observation. Mm -hmm. And also, we will also get them work placement. Okay. We have nurseries that we can put them in for their placement. So we're happy to do that. Okay. So if somebody is overseas, and they're thinking of working in childcare. What advice would you give them either childcare here in the UK or let's say 
they're interested in health and social care in general. As you know, recently the UK government has opened the door for recruitment for overseas uh, staff to work as home carers, care assistants. So if somebody wants to explore such areas, is there any advice for them? Is there any you know, chance yes, for them? We, we, my advice for somebody who is interested in, in um, working as a carer, Mm. We have a course specifically for that. Okay. It's called NCFE Cash Level 1 Award in preparing to work in adult social care. Okay. So that is that is the basic um, health and social care requirements if you want to work in a, in a care home. Okay. And that course, according to the specification, it takes three months. Okay. Okay. One day a week. But like um, my colleague said, um, the, if the learner works hard, hmm. um, puts in a lot more work, the course can be finished within even before three months. Okay. And always, um, remember that the three months is one once a week. Hmm. So if they put in more effort, they can finish early. Earlier. Okay. 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 So and, and just, just to also point out. Mm -hmm. With health and social care, this one you don't need work placement. Yeah, it is just the qualification that you require. Okay. So this is this is the initial qualification that is required if that person wants mm -hmm. to come to the UK to come and work mm -hmm. as um a care in a care home. Okay, okay. That's great. And also, if somebody is already in the UK, you know, most of our people, I would say, because my video is most often encouraging overseas nurses or carers who are here, some people, due to the fact that they've got children, they can do extra work, or some in some families, maybe the wife is unable to, to work because of childcare. And they might be considering, you know, what can I do? So I believe, what advice would you have if they can spend some time doing some of your courses? Do you run flexible? As you said, they are online, isn't it? Yes. I mean, um, with that, if somebody is in that situation, um, like I said, um, the the first point of my advice to that person would, would be to take what we call NCFE cash level three in preparing to work in home-based childcare. Yeah. That is a course that you can take. That is a very popular course with us, mm. especially with moms with children. Yeah. So that is a course you can take within 12 weeks. Okay. So you only attend classes once a week. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. the beauty of this course is that when you finish, you have two options. You can mm -hmm. set up your own home-based child minding business yeah right there in your home which will also include your children yeah or you can also go and work as a child minder okay yeah. so and if you are working as a child minder you you know you 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 will be flexible with with your own children as well yeah okay that's the opportunity and we also run saturday classes for moms especially so if okay. you say you are working during the week Okay, we can also accommodate students to have their lectures on Saturdays as well. Okay. And, and, another, and another thing I need to add to that is mm -hmm. this one, we've got two sections. If you want to, do, for moms that have got children, you could just do the online base because this does not need the work placement. So okay. you could join your class online. There is an online section. And for those that want face-to-face, there is also a face-to-face. -face. So there is no barrier, there is inclusive learning air and people can participate whichever way they want to. So for a mom with children at home and you think, oh, I really don't want to go to the center, mm -hmm. you could join the online classes and it's also once a week and on completion, you do your assignment you sent to me online and maybe towards the end of it, we can have meet on one-on-one -on -one just to go through your portfolio and on completion, you get your certificate. We assist you in setting up your child minding setting. And oh, from lovely. 
that. Mm -hmm. And for anyone that wants to do face-to-face, -face, you could come to the college. So that's really good. Yeah. yeah. So you, are, you actually help them if they want to start uh, by setting up their own child minding business, you guide them and assist them yes. in doing that. And yes. I think child, them. yeah, child minding, I believe is quite, oh, I know it's quite lucrative in the UK. Everybody needs someone to look yes. after their children, isn't it? Yes. So if you yes. have your own children, you can't work a lot because of that. If you get the opportunity to look after your own children in addition to other people's children, even the better, that's isn't the, yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, that would be brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I'm glad we are able to make it. And I'm glad that, you know, there are opportunities like this that most people don't know about. And if we yeah. don't talk about it, people will not know. So if they want to contact you and make inquiries, how do we go about it? Is there um, inquiry email on your website? Yes, um, I can also give you the, the email that they can contact us with, which is okay. admin, yeah. admin at progresscollege.org.uk. That okay. is the email. Okay. Or they can also visit um, our website, which is www.progresscollege.org.uk. Okay. Um, they can also contact us on our, our telephone numbers. Okay which is um, 07-538-234. Or there's another yeah. one as well. Yeah. Or 07506. Yeah. 8972-8972. Five eight. Five eight. Great. So I would put these numbers out and your contact out. So anyone who is interested in, you know, venturing and exploring child care, child minding, and health and social care, uh, they can contact you. I think this is a good opportunity because online courses are flexible and you get a certificate at the end, you work at your own pace and you will get, you achieve whatever you want and you can set yourself whatever you want to do. So any final, you know, advice to anyone out there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, a, a final advice is that anybody that takes health and social care with us, mm -hmm. um, there's, you know, getting a job is not a problem. Um, we can also refer them if they if they are interested in in working in the NHS because yeah. working in a care home is one aspect. You know, mm -hmm. there's a huge um, opportunity. job opportunity in the NHS as well. But a lot of people don't even know how to get into the NHS. Mm -hmm. You know, because they think NHS is so big and they don't know where to go. So yeah. that is where Absolutely. we can also come in. We can refer you to the um, right uh, people, the right organization that will sit down with you um look at your qualification help you write a cv and coach you on how um on interview techniques and pinpoint you into the right direction right there in the nhs okay. and always remember health and social care is just a starting point mm -hmm. to a huge opportunity within the nhs so it's not just in care homes you can work in a care home and then switch on to the nhs and within the nhs we both know how huge that opportunity is and you can cross over into any department or any um, other um, interest of um, um, work that you are interested in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so can I confirm the names again? Abimbola, isn't it? Yes, Abimbola. And Dele. And Dele. Thank you very much for- Thank you very much. Thank your you time. for this session. Yes, thank you so much. And it was great to, to have you on the channel today. Um, I will share and I, I hope everybody watches it and then, you know, they are able to get something out of it. All right.
Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you very Take much. care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B